Hi guys, I'm Sydney. I'm Rachel. I'm Emily. And today we are going to show you some active and passive stretching for a lower extremity, upper extremity, thorax, trunk, and spine. Each stretch is going to be held for 30 seconds. You'll repeat each stretch two to three times. You should always advise your patient to breathe through the stretch and keep them updated on where you're stretching and where you're touching. Here we go. <laughs> the first stretch we're going to do today is the hamstring. So you're going to make sure your patient doesn't have any shoes on, and then you're going to ask them to slide back and lay down on their back. Explain to your patient that you're going to pick up each leg and keep their knee as straight as possible. Tell your patient you're going to hold this stretch for about 30 seconds and ask them to tell you when you feel tightness or soreness. Tightness. Once they feel tight or sore, you'll stop. Use the opposite leg to anchor down the opposite leg you are stretching and hold your opposite hand to keep the knee straight. Okay, so for our second stretch, we are going to be stretching the muscles of the rotator cuff. And what you want to have me do is we already have our patient laying down on the table. You want them to come towards the edge of the table for whatever side you are stretching. And you want their shoulder to be half off the table, but still enough so they are stabilized on the table. And for this one, I'm going to have her take her arm and put her elbow at a 90 degree. Holding her wrist and stabilizing her shoulder, I'm going to push upward till she feels tightness or resistance. That's good. And hold this for 30 seconds. Once you hold that for 30 seconds, you're going to shake it out just to release some of that tension. And then you're going to do the same thing, but going in the opposite direction. All right, so to stretch the trunk, spine, and thorax, you have your patient lay on their back and by the edge of the table of whichever side you're stretching. Make sure their shoes are off. So you want to bring their knee up to their chest and then push it over to the other side. And you want to make sure their hip comes up so you really stretch their spine. And you want to stabilize the same shoulder. And then you hold this for about 30 seconds. Okay, so this stretch is for quadricep. I'm going to begin by asking the patient to lay on the table with the shoes off. I'm going to tell them that I'm taking their knee and I'm going to push it towards their gluteus. If they don't feel it, do you feel it? Not really. You're going to um, elevate their legs. So I do that by putting my leg under there and then pushing the knee And then you'll hold this stretch for 30 seconds, two to three times. Once for your hip flexors, you would have your patient lie on the table with their shoes off on their back, and then you could bring their leg up. You can prop your leg against the table so you have better control, and then you just push their thigh to the side of their body, and they'll feel it there. You can also anchor their hip. How's that feel? Good. And then you hold that for about 30 seconds, two to three times on each side. So now we're going to stretch the adductors and the groin. So you're going to have your patient come towards the edge of the table with their butt almost hanging off. I'm going to have her put her left, her right leg on my left shoulder, just like that, and then have her lay back, hold down her one leg, and push down until she, yeah, until she feels it. There you go. And just hold that for 30 seconds, two to three times, and then switch sides. To stretch your IT band, cross one leg over the other. Lean towards the, leg, the side opposite of the leg in the front. Hold the stretch for 30 seconds, two to three times. To stretch your piriformis, you want to have your patient standing and have them take the side they are stretching and place their ankle above their knee and have them squat down. And if they need to feel it deeper, to push down on their own knee, and hold that for 30 seconds using a stabilizer if needed so they don't fall and then you're going to do that for both sides. Emily is now going to perform the stretch on her biceps so what you're going to have to do is you're going to have them cross their arm over their body and then take the other arm and hold it up at a 90 degree angle and have them pull on the opposite arm so they feel a nice stretch deep in the bicep and then Rachel is going to do a <laughs> tricep stretch and you're gonna have your patient be standing or sitting, put their arm over their head, kinda at a angle in a triangle and pull on the opposite elbow down to 
stretch the tricep. So now Sydney's gonna stretch her wrist flexors and extensors. So for wrist flexion, she's gonna put her arm up and then bend her wrist forward like that. And then she can take her other hand and lengthen that stretch. And she'll hold that for 30 seconds. And then she can do the wrist extensors after that. So she's gonna bend it the other way facing up. Again, grab her hand and bend it back to further the stretch. Hold that for 30 seconds and continue two to three times. Stretch your rhomboids and your lats. Have your patients sit on the edge of the table. Ask them to hug themselves, grabbing the back of their shoulders. If this is not a deep enough stretch, grab each elbow and pull apart. muscles have your patient stand facing the wall. They're outstretched the side that's tight <laughs> perpendicular to the body and then rotate their body in the opposite direction. <laughs> so for this your patient's going to stretch their sternocleidomastoid, their upper trapezius, and their scalenes. So for their sternocleidomastoid they're going to tilt their head turn their head to one side, and then they can push on their chin to deepen the stretch. And they'll hold that for 30 seconds and do it both ways. And then for their scalene, they will tilt their head then now. And they'll hold that for 30 seconds, and then do it the other way. And then for their upper trapezius, they can do the same thing, but then take their same arm and push against their head. Hold that for 30 seconds, and then do the other side. And then repeat those two to three times each side. Okay, so right here, we have two patients about to do a passive stretch for their gastrocnemius and soleus. Emily is going to go ahead and place her legs stagnant in front of each other, and bend her front leg, and keep her back leg straight to stretch the gastro gastrocnemius. And then Rachel over here is going to do the same position, except her back leg is going to be bent, and that is going to stretch her soleus. <laughs> okay, so just remember, when stretching a patient, the ideal location would be on a table in the ATR, and 